we're back with our guest host, Glenn Tullman, who is an entrepreneur and investor in healthcare, energy, energy industries. He's also behind the startup Digidoo, which makes tablets for some Chicago public school classrooms. So this was a move aimed at disrupting education, which is in sore need of disruption. It's kind of like, you know, moved along without any, any input from technology, it seems, the last couple of years. It is. We thought there was a better way to do education. You know, today kids learn through a multimedia kind of effort and all of their world is about their phones and their video games and when they go to school it's just too slow. So we wanted to replace old textbooks with tablets and then move to the phone mm -hmm. and then move to the cloud and that's what Digidoo does. Well, you know, various education systems are not well known for their large budgets, right? So when you're talking about a transformation like this, it's, it's got to be expensive. Well, the beauty of it is when technology is properly applied, it gives more benefit and it costs less. And we've all been beneficiaries of that because our phones now are like computers and our computers cost less. So we think that can happen in education. And now, actually more than Chicago, in 12 different states, including Washington, D.C. and other places, we're helping schools and students in those schools get a better education. The pushback to this is that the U.S. spends so much money per student, yet the grades are not there. Um, continuously, the U.S. scores below average or right at the average line uh, among countries and, uh, you know, of high school seniors. They were not better and more literate in math or in English or mm -hmm. language arts than any other country, despite all the spending. So why should schools continue spending on technology? Well, I think they haven't really spent on technology. If you look at the number of students in a classroom who actually use technology and their entire class is based on technology. It's very, very few in the U.S. Mm. And think about if kids were as excited about education as they are about video games. All right, Glenn Tolman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's you. It's been a pleasure to talk with it's you. The hour managing partner of Seven Wire Ventures. And just a few minutes from the bell, markets continue their decline. The Dow off by 335 points with eight minutes to go before the close.